motion or the agenda? Can we get a motion? So I'll move, Your Honor. Second. Motion made by Mr. Barrington, second by Mr. Herter. Um, any additions or corrections to this? All right. <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Approval of 12 20 2022 Common Council Minutes. Get a motion. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Dorsey. Who second? Mr. Ritchie. Any additions or corrections to that? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> motion is also carried by all. Authorization to pay the bills. Mr. Dorsey. John, I make a motion we pay the bills in the amount of 900. Eighty-four thousand three hundred and forty-three dollars and twenty cents. I'll second that. Motion been made and second by Mr. Fouché. Any additions or corrections to that? All right. Please cast your ballots. That motion's carried nine-zero. Moving along to standing special committees. Start out with the Board of Public Works, Mr. Barrington. Thank you. Board of Public Works met on Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. Motion was, we started the meeting with Pledge of Allegiance. We had public input. We discussed the elevated cost of GFL services. No, no action was taken. It was just brought up and discussed a little bit. The next item was wastewater treatment plan update. The notes were included, looked at, there was no questions at this time. <clears throat> the next thing was recommend to council a bump out design for North Water Street. Director Garski recommended the bump out for slowing traffic and creating a pedestrian crossing. He noted that this would not create any difficulties in plowing during winter months. Motion made and seconded to approve. This will be brought to council, I believe. No. This Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the next was recommend. We brought up discontinuing. We have changed the wording to alterate Lincoln Court to a one-way street. That was, motion was passed. That will be brought to council tonight. <coughs> the next thing we discussed was recommend to council the use of Three wells for the 2024 construction of North Water. Director Garski recommended the use of wells versus above ground receptacles. It was cited no obstacle for snow removal, healthier for the tree. Discussion was related to type of wells being used and trees planted. Motion made and seconded, passed. It'll be brought to council tonight. And the next thing we discussed was update of 2024 North Water Project, colored concrete and lighting. Director Garski updated the Director of Public Works Board just with discussions that took place at the public input planning meeting. It was suggested not to use colored concrete or bricks in a roadway. Decorative concrete or pavers would be better served if installed behind the curb. The board was also informed on decorative lighting options. Pedestrian crossing lights were brought up. No motion made at that present time. The next was recommend to council a preliminary assessment resolution for sanitary laterals along North Water Street, State Street, Lincoln Court, St. John's Place. Director Garski recommended a preliminary assessment resolution for the sanitary sewer construction, reconstruction of North Water Street, State Street, Lincoln Court, St. John's. This is the first step in the assessment progress. Motion made and seconded. <coughs> Motion carried, one abstention. The next is to recommend to council contract award for the fire department floor coating. <clears throat> Director Garst, he recommended NEW coatings out of Chiocton with its bid of $32,384. Motion made and seconded to award the contract one abstention. The next was 
discussion on fees for yard waste site. Director Garski asked the direction of the board as he researches options for the yard waste collection site. Potential fee charges and use of window stickers were discussed. You will reach out to the town of Mukwa again to discuss possible alternatives. He will proceed to review options, bring to the Public Works Board. No motion was made at this time. Director's report memo was included in the agenda packet reviewed. Service anniversaries, there were none at this time. <coughs> the contractor doing the utility tie-in for First State Bank has moved the start time to January 3rd. Starting on that date, Lincoln Court will be closed to through traffic north of Wolfer Plaza. Part of the new plowing technique has been implemented. We are focusing on rounding the corners off arterial and collector streets. When we receive a new loader plow and wing routes, we'll change a little bit with more in implementation at that time. Future agenda items discuss large waste item disposal and a fee for the yard sites. Meeting was called. <coughs> I recommend to council approval of bump out designs for North Water Street. Second. Motion been made by Mr. Barrington, second by Mr. Dorsey for the approval of the bump out design for North Water Street. Any further discussion? I would like to open this up to discussion. Um, I have some concerns about the bump outs downtown. Uh, as I'm down there every day, I see how the traffic works and all this. Um, our downtown is not as wide as other communities and I just would be concerned on the flow of traffic, uh, the deliveries from some of the semis. Um, what if we get this wrong and the bump, the bump outs are disruptive to our city? What kind of um, backlash are we going to have from the community? Um, snow removal, uh, I know it's okay to do with the, the trucks but who's going to be shoveling the bump outs uh, when it sh when it snows during the day I mean they come out once in the morning but who's going to be shoveling the bump outs um, we're going to be losing it could be up to four to six parking spots in prime downtown uh, parking uh, a lot of uh, the businesses have elderly uh, people that uh, me personally, I have uh, some that will circle the block three, four times because there's not a spot right in front of my shop. Um, so they, they don't want to walk across the street and walk down a block. I'm just saying um, we are a community of elderly people that, you know, they don't go to Appleton. They, they like it here. They can, you know, pull up and shop. Um, those are some of my uh, my biggest concerns. So I just wanted to hear, I've been talking to some of the other business owners downtown and um, nobody's a big fan of it. Uh, I just don't think it's necessary. Uh, I understand the safety issue with, uh, you know, the pedestrian walker walking across the, the way. Um, but I just, I, I, I think, like I said, it, it, if we don't, our, our downtown is very narrow compared to other communities and I feel we've already made the driving lane smaller uh, from the last uh, couple of meetings we've had um, I just I, I feel we're, we're putting too much into a small space so I just want to kind of open up for anybody else's opinions uh, that's mine thank you mr. Roberts any other discussion uh, a couple of years ago uh, it was looked at bump outs and I went and talked to some of the people, the store owners on both sides of the bump outs and telling them that they were probably gonna lose four parking spots and none of them were in favor of it at that time. That's all I have. I don't think that uh, four parking spots is worth a kid's life if he comes running across that street. If we're gonna put a parking lot across the street, we should have something for them to cross at now you're inviting them to cross the street and I don't think four parking spots is like where somebody getting hit like I said I'm down there all day every day uh, people don't go to the parking or to the crosswalks to cross the street they, they'll cross wherever our traffic is not as busy as 
some other municipalities, I, I, I just don't see that there would be an issue for safety. Um, and to have those four parking spots, and like I said, the down the, the four in the prime real estate, I just don't think that we'd want to, you know, sacrifice those parking spots. Thank you. Any further comments? And not only are we talking about parking spots, but we're talking about traffic in and out of that parking lot. With the bump out on that side, you know, it creates more vision for them coming in and out of there. Can you, can we make <coughs> that parking lot one way in? Have well, come up right Main Street to go in and then go towards the past the new bank. That discussion right now, this discussion is about the bump out. Well, that that way, if they made it so this you pull in the parking lot and can only go one way, you wouldn't need the bump outs. The, the, the motions for the bump outs. So, is there any further discussion on them bump outs? Do we know how many spaces, parking spaces, we're actually going to lose for that? Is it four? Is it six? It all depends on how many uh, actual crosswalks you want to implement at that parking lot area. Um, you have certain distances from each side of that crosswalk that are no parking for regulations. So it all depends on if you go with two crossings there or one for the, it would all have to go off of the design of the parking lot. So um, safely, you could probably say four. I wouldn't think any more than that because at some point you're gonna have a crossing there. So. Okay, I guess I'd my say four at the most. I guess I guess my concern now at this point is we don't really know what we're approving. We're approving a bump out, but we don't know what kind of a bump out we're approving. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly how many spots we're losing or how many we're gonna gain from that new parking facility and which way that's gonna traffic flow. I kind of feel like we don't know what we're approving. So at this point in time, you're authorizing or giving us direction to design it with a bump out in that location. So the actual design has to be figured out yet. You know, the final design for everything will have, you know, the council and the Board of Public Works will look at the final design when it's done. But we know the bump outs is, is, is contentious, you know, obviously with your discussion right now. So if from the beginning the Board of Public Works and the Council were against it from the start, we wouldn't even design it. We're not going to waste our time. But there are elements of the safety. The, there are elements that the, um, the uh, public information or the public involvement group wanted to highlight that parking area better. Um, just to kind of promote that this is a entrance into a, a new parking area for the downtown and really promote the downtown parking. So the point of this is just to direct us to continue us designing with the bump out at this point in time. Can we have that, the motion that was read and approved, or that was made and approved read? Because that's not the impression that I got from the motion. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I'll, re I'll so reread it. It's approval of bump out design for North Water Street. Okay, so we're approving a bump out design that we haven't seen. That's how I'm reading, that's how I'm hearing that. At the, excuse me, but at the, just, I'll back up a little bit, but originally Public Works and most of the council were opposed to bump outs. That was before there was a parking lot in the mix. That was before we were able to negotiate purchase property for a downtown parking lot, which we were lucky to do. And then now some time has gone by. There's plans underway for a parking lot. We just kind of gave some direction on the street flow for that parking lot. We did have plans, what was it, last week when we had public works? Or two weeks ago. Uh, that's the the problem with having two weeks go by between the committee and the regular council meeting. Mm -hmm. But we had a full packet, we had pictures of conceptual designs, and we had a nice presentation by Mr. Garski about flow in and flow out and how it'd be safer to have 
a bump out. Not bump outs all downtown, but a bump out there. Mm -hmm. Even the people at that committee meeting that were opposed to it initially voted in favor of it. That was two weeks ago. So it surprises me to have the debate all over again tonight. So I, I, that's all I'm going to say. I'm ready. I'm ready to vote on it either way. But you know, I, I would like to just clarify my understanding from that meeting two weeks ago is that we were giving direction to continue with looking at design for to con continue looking at designing the bump out and the parking area. That is not how I'm hearing or reading the motion that was made. I'm hearing that the motion that was made is to approve the design, not to approve, continue, to continue looking at designs. Correct. So when you make your choice to vote to take that into consideration. Any further discussion? Please cast your ballots. Six yes and three no. Motion passes. <coughs> Before we continue on, I'd like I'd just like to say I, I appreciate all the dialogue that went into that and in consideration of, of the whole project. Thank you. I make a motion to approve <coughs> the alteration of a one-way section of Lincoln Court from the alleyway to the parking area. Second. Motion been made and seconded by Mr. Barrington, second by Mr. Her uh, Mr. Haas, for motion to approve the alteration of the one-way section of Lincoln Court from an alleyway to a parking area. Any further discussion? Please cast your ballots. Mr. Herter, that motion's carried, 9-0. I make a motion to approve the use of tree wells for the 2024 reconstruction of North Water Street. Motion Second. made by Mr. Barrington, seconded by Mr. Herter for <clears throat> approval of the use of tree wells for the 2024 reconstruction of North Water Street. Any further discussion? I'd like to, um, John, I'm, I'm really sorry that uh, in the last discussion you said that we discussed it at committee and then, you know, there's, there's a process. We go from the committee to the um, public works to council. I, I was not at the committee during the whole meeting. I thought I was, I was late. But anyway, so that's why we're having this kind of discussion now, which we involve all the council members. You know, it's, it's committee, then council, we discuss it. It's, we're not just here to rubber stamp everything. Um, I guess I was just wondering how exactly those tree wells are constructed. Is it the tree is in um, an enclosed space or is it in the ground? Is it going to have issues with uh, the sidewalks over time? They would be in the ground in a designed well that accepts tree roots and tree growth has a drainage element to them. Um, a lot of it has to do with the species of tree that you pick out um, when you're dealing with sidewalk, curb heaving, things of that nature. And of course, that would be researched and the proper trees planted in those areas. So the idea is to have a, a species of tree that's not going to uh, disrupt our sidewalks or roads. Correct. Right. Any further discussion? All right, please cast your ballots. Sorry. Mr. B. Saw, that motion's carried 9 0. I make a motion to approve the resolution of sanitary laterals along North Water Street, 
State Street, Lincoln Court, and St. John's Place. Second. Motion been made by Mr. Barrington, second by Mr. Herder. For approval of resolution for the sanitary laterals along North Water Street, State Street, Lincoln Court, and St. John's Place. Any further discussion? Please cast your ballots. That motion is also carried 9 0. <clears throat> I make a motion to avoid, avoid, to award the contract for the fire department floor coating. Motion made by Mr. Barrington. Second. Uh, that's the amount of $32,384 to NEW contractors. That resolution on the sanitary. Coding. NEW, pardon me. NEW coding. Motion been made by Mr. Barrington, second by Mr. Herder. To award contract for the fire department for floor coating. <coughs> Any further discussion? Please cast your ballots. And that motion's carried eight with one abstention. That's all I have tonight, Your Honor. I've tripped my tongue a couple times. Thank you, Mr. Barrington. You did a perfect job. I have to pause for one second to make sure that we are <coughs> on track. Well, because we voted on the tree wells. Yep. Yeah. And the sanitary laterals was? Okay. All right. Yep. All right. Move along. <coughs> Personnel and finance. Mr. Dorsey. Yes, <coughs> I'd like to recommend a council approval of a developer's agreement with First State Bank. I'll second it. Motion been made by Mr. Dorsey, seconded by Mr. Ritchie for a review and recommend council approval of developer's agreement with First State Bank. Any further discussion? Please cast your ballots. That motion is carried 9-0. I'd like to review and recommend a council approval of a donation agreement with First State Bank. Second. Motion been made by Mr. Dorsey, seconded by Mr. Barrington. Any further discussion? Please cast your ballots. Hold on, please. Oh, I just wanted to just maybe if Nicole can put in the rec minutes that I've had no involvement in those last two. Uh, oh, because you're going to step out. Sure. Instead of stepping out, just making, due to my conflict with First State Bank, I just haven't had any involvement with that. Continue with your votes, please. Mr. Frechet. Oh. That motion's carried 9 0. I look for a motion, or make a motion to approve the. License list that you were present that you were provided before this meeting. Motion made okay. by Mr. Dorsey. Can we get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Herder for approval of the month monthly license list. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That is all I have, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Dorsey. <coughs> Moving along to Park and Recreation, Mr. Besaw. Thank you, Your Honor. The Park and Rec Committee met on January third. And the minutes for the November 15th meeting, special meeting, were approved in, on the December council meeting. January meeting met at 611. Motion was carried. Motion was made and seconded. Motion was approved. Carried by all. Public input. There was none presented. Wapaka County, City of New London agreement, meal site. Director Saul recommended reviewing the, renewing the annual agreement with Wapaka County Department of Health and Human Services in the City of New London for the continued use of the Washington Center. That will be brought to Council. In discussion for the old municipal parking lot use, Director Saul provided Council with a suggestion made by Besaw to enhance the area by the old municipal garage site and river walk trail by adding a gangway and dock off the river trail. This would be by the gazebo that was recently built there. This not only would enhance the green space, but also by creating a new parking area 
for overflow parking for the boat launch. This parking space will, may alleviate some of the congestion at the River Park Boat Launch area parking on County Road X in Werner Allen Road when demand is high. Discussion was brought up regarding vehicles that would use the space as overflow from employees or surrounding businesses and permit use of the parking area. A quote was obtained from, for a commercial gangway and dock from Schmidt Boat Lifts and Docks. The project can be self-funded by the boat launch revenue for daily and annual permits. Significant interest was shown to proceed with being able to get the project and being able to move forward. No motion was made. The director's report was included in the agenda packet and reviewed by the committee. The Hatton Stadium and Wall Project moving forward, Saul will be meeting with the Hatton Stadium Foundation to work on a timeline for the project. Chairman's report was not presented. Committee members report not presented. Future agenda items. Discuss a kayak kiosk, new insurance-based fitness program, annual report, all municipal parking lot use update. Next park and rec meeting will be held on Tuesday, February 7th at 5.15. Being no further this stuff, you adjourn. Excuse me, the meeting was adjourned at 6.37. Motion was carried by all. I would look for council's approval of the agreement with Wapaka County City of Nalan agreement with the meal site. Second. Motion been made by Mr. Besaw, second by Mr. Dorsey for approval of the agreement with Wapaka County for the meal site. Any further discussion on that? Please cast your ballots. That motion's carried 9-0. <coughs> That's all I have, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Besaw. You might as well continue right on in the Planning Commission. I see there is no meeting. Do you have any other notes? Oh, we had no meeting. All right. Continuing on the Economic Development Committee. Mr. Dorsey, I see you have no meeting as well. Any other comments? No. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, minutes and reports will be stand as read in your packets. And moving on to reports of officers and recent events and announcements to the public. Start off with with uh, the mayor's report. Um, first, I'd like to welcome everybody back in the new year. It seems like it's been a year since we've been here. Um, looking forward to what we have to do this year. It, it uh, looks very exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to working with all of you for the next year. Let's make a difference for our community, our constituents, and the residents of New London. So with that, um, the only thing I have on my docket is to discuss and rescheduling of February council meeting due to the primaries February 24th. Um, does anybody have a recommendation of a day? Clerk, do you have a recommendation? Um, I did want to note that the Monday prior is President's Day, so the municipal office is closed and it would be a little bit easier for me to have it on the Wednesday rather than the Monday if you're thinking about bumping it a day or two either direction just so we can set up the council chambers for voting. I will be absent from the 15th of February to the 1st. You have municipal court on Wednesday till 5.30 here. That's any issue for Nicole. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. usually out by, I mean, if we, if we did it at 7, so, yeah. What day was, was that? Were you? The Wednesday, the 22nd. Everybody good with the 22nd? That is also Ash Wednesday for religious people. <laughs> Thank you. If, good if, for the 22nd. If we did it the week prior, Attorney Steckbauer couldn't be there. I mean, I don't know what you guys want, but. All right. That's Valentine's Day. Unless anybody's opposed, we'll look at uh, February 22nd for the council meeting. <coughs> um, we do need a motion on that. We do need a motion? Yep. All right. We'll because it's in our code. Then. So move. Second. Motion made by Mr. Roberts, second by Mr. Haas for common council meeting on February 22nd. Any further discussion? Please cast your ballot. I don't think the voting. It's 
isn't it? Yeah. She's. I don't know why it's not working. She'll be there in just a second. There you go. Mr. Fiche. Well, she carried 9 0. That is all that I have, so we'll move right along into the city administrator, Mr. Hurt. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, over the past year, the New London Planning Commission has been very busy working on updating the city's comprehensive plan, as uh, the other persons who have been attending those meetings understand and know that. Um, those documents help guide the city in many aspects of future growth and development. Um, we've been reviewing each section one at a time, and finally we're to the point that our consultant has put everything together in its first full um, draft of the full document. Uh, the Planning Commission will be reviewing this complete draft the next meeting on Wednesday, uh, January 25th. Reminder, Planning Commission is up uh, one day earlier on Wednesday, not Thursday next week on January 25th. And then we're anticipating holding a required public hearing for the comp plan on February 25th. So anybody out there who's interested in the city's comp plan, um, we will probably have it available uh, shortly after next week's meeting um, so people can view it. And we will have a copy here at the municipal building if anybody wants to come here and view it as well. And then we will have the uh, public hearing for the comp plan on February 25th. Uh, just to let everybody know what's going on with that. Also, January is National Radon Action Month. Um, if you're interested in performing a home radon test in your, in your house, um, we do have radon kits here available at the clerk's office. They're $6 per test. That does include the lab results. However, there is an additional postage cost that you have to send or mail it to uh, the lab. No appointment is necessary to pick up the radon kit. And if you're interested, just stop during at, to the clerk's office during normal business hours. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Earth. Moving along, Chief of Police, Mr. Schleter. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd just like to thank our Assistant Chief Chris Gregory for 29 years of service. Uh, February 3rd will be his last day on the job as he'll be retiring. So I wish him the best in retirement and he's gonna be missed. He's been a big part of our department for a long time and just a great guy. So congratulations to Chris and uh, if you see him, thank him for his years of service. I think that deserves a round of applause for Chris. For <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Uh, Director of Public Works, Mr. Roberts. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> the contractor doing the work for First State Bank has finished the utility tie-in on Lincoln Court. Lincoln Court is now back open to through traffic. The 30-foot area of road surface that was opened up for that tie-in will remain in gravel until the reconstruction of Lincoln Court this year. Uh, the winter storm that is supposed to hit our area Wednesday night and into Thursday could bring heavy snow amounts. If no snow emergency is called, it is still highly recommended to limit on-street parking after 6 a.m. Parking on any street slows down the plowing process. It also means that we have to come back to these areas to do an additional cleanup which could mean additional snow placed in your or your neighbor's driveway approach. And that is all I have tonight, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. You. Director of Park and Recreation, Ms. So. Thank you, Your Honor. The Parks and Recreation Department has several part-time positions open right now, including uh, senior transit driver, daytime lifeguards, and seasonal staff. If you're looking for a part-time job, head over to the city's website go to the I want to section and then click on learn more about employment opportunities for information and how to apply. Um, and then the recreation department is busy planning for the annual daddy daughter dance. Um, this year we have a Candyland theme. Um, they also have openings in the upcoming home alone babysitting courses. Uh, there will be one on February 17th and one in April on April 6th. So for more information for all of those programs and events, they can be found on our city's website at newlondonwi.org. And that's all I have. Thank you, Mrs. Soul. Thank you. Moving on, Fire Chief. I do not see Mr. Wolfer out there. Mr. Ritchie, do you have an update? Yeah, we got um, four anniversaries. Myself for 38 years. Greg stylin has got 33. Ryan Ritchie's got 11. <coughs> Matt Bennett's got six. And we also hired two new people, Justin Wimpy and Ryan Popke. Thank you for <laughs> your time and service as well. And yourself. 
All right, moving along to utilities manager, Mr. Bessett. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, electric crews responded to an outage at Hilker Trucking on January 13th around 1 p.m. <coughs> Our crews replaced a blown fuse on the transformer. Uh, crews responded to a call at 1810 Mill Street on January 14th. Uh, the main breaker failure on the panel was the cause of that. Crews removed the meter, re-energized the service after electricians finished their repairs. Uh, reminder, we're still accepting applications for a water operator until uh, this Friday. And also we have a lead line position that will remain open uh, posted until we fill that position. And then I would finally like to thank Andy Chandler. Uh, he's completed 10 years of service with New London Utilities. That's all I have tonight, Your Honor. Thank you, thank you. Bassett. And I'd like to congratulate him for his time in service as well. Moving on to Clerk Ryerson. Do you have anything to add? No. All right. Then we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Motion made by Mr. Roberts. Second. Second by Mr. Ritchie. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We are adjourned.